four years, my friends. Today marks officially four years since I started my journey of sharing my thoughts online, initially through writing. I know you're watching the video right now, but most of you know me from Instagram. That's how most of you got to my YouTube channel that is still relatively new. Not relatively, but definitely new. But if you know me from Instagram, you know that I'm pretty consistent in my writing. And this consistency today amounts to four years of showing up and on average showing up for more than one time per day. In these four years, I average around, I think, one and a half posts per day. Let's now not get into statistics, but four years. Thank you. This is not going to be a video of me spending, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of thanking you. I could do that. I could make a three hours video of thanking you for everything. For everything that you've done, not for just my creative pursuit, my creative journey, but how much you, how much your support has meant, meant to me in my personal life as well. But we, are, we will have to leave that for another video, maybe another live session and multiple, multiple writing sessions where I will be writing about what I have learned in these four years. Actually, I'm already writing those essays, making, sharing those essays, what, what I've learned, what you have taught me, what I would like to, to share with you, what are some messages, most, some of the most important messages that I have to share after these four years. But this this video today or tonight whenever you're watching is going to be about a particular topic that i think is relevant appropriate to talk about on this on this special day because today i'm i'm not really able to to find the right words to share the extent of gratitude that I feel towards you and maybe I'm not prepared to share it in this way in this format without becoming more emotional that I that I would like to <laughs> get emotional and I would like to be more emotional that I would like to be in front of camera at at this point at this point in my video making journey so give me some time to find the right words and to be able to express them without getting too emotional or sounding too cheesy at least from my perspective i'm probably wrong for you thinking that direction but that's that's what it is let's get let's get to what i want to talk about i want to talk about i want to encourage you to share your work with the world your thoughts your creative expression your writing your music your paintings your uh, craftsmanship whatever it is, whatever work, or just start something that you would like to start but are constantly putting off and hesitating. I want to start, share three things, uh, not three reasons why you should share your work with the world, why you should, sh why, why you should start doing that thing. Number one, action precedes confidence, not the other way around. When a person thinks that confidence comes before action, that's a sure way to know that that person hasn't done much in their life. And I'm sorry if some of you will be offended by this, but it's just a fact. If someone thinks that confidence comes first and then action, that's a sign that they haven't been taking a lot of action and they haven't done much in their life. There is, we talk a lot about how could we be more confident. There are some, some tangible ways to, to improve your confidence, but we most importantly have to recognize that action comes before confidence. You don't act because you're confident. You become confident because you have constantly taking action and receiving some feedback on that action and then adjusting your, your future actions. But I also have another thing to propose, to suggest. 
instead of relying on confidence to take action, I suggest something infinitely better than confidence, and that's courage. Courage is a matter of choice. It always was and it always will be. Confidence is not. Courage is a, courage is a matter of choice. So I should suggest in this equation, excuse me, in this equation, instead of seeking to have confidence before taking action, choose courage, adopt the attitude of courage. And courage is one of the, has been one of the most important themes of my life for the past four years. And now let's put one theme into this video, into this video about starting and sharing your work with the world. I am addressing you as someone who has been known since he was a kid in his family as a, uh, a kid that is uh, too careful, too careful, too hesitant, not confident, shy, shy uh, with everyone at least uh, except with his closest one and loved ones. Someone who is able to express himself fully and someone who is creative, but only with those that he is fully comfortable with. So when I'm talking about starting something, sharing your work with the world, when I'm talking about uh, confidence, sorry, when I'm talking about action preceding confidence and being, being held back by the lack of confidence, all of these things that I'm talking about, I'm talking about someone who can relate to the struggles that you've going through, that you are going through. So action precedes confidence. You act, then you feel confident. And I propose courage instead of confidence. Take confidence as a bonus that will arrive along, along the journey. Choose courage, adopt the attitude of courage. It's a matter of choice. Number two. Imperfection is always better than hesitation. Let me repeat it. Imperfection is always, always better than hesitation. It's a harsh truth, but uh, in, on the other hand, it's a, it's a big relief to know that you will never be good enough if you're waiting to start something. Let me tell you right now, let me, let me ease you of your pain. You will never be good enough because you, you are waiting to be good enough before you can start. That's what you're waiting for, a lot of you. Oh, I cannot start this project right now because I'm still not good enough. Okay, you will never be, never be good enough. So you have two choices. You can take action now and then slowly start coming closer to that ideal of being good enough that you will never reach. You will never, you will never reach that because it will constantly keep moving so take action now and you start getting closer to that ever ever moving always el el elusive ideal of being good enough you can do that or you can do this you can hesitate you can hesitate and with every single day the idea of where you think you are compared to being good enough this distance is going to increase in your mind is going to increase i'm not saying that every single day you will be uh, you will become worse at that thing but in your mind you will be less prepared so take action now and start moving closer to being good enough or hesitate and with every single day every single day you think that you're further and further away from being good enough why because hesitation and stagnation, it breeds feeling of incompetence. You will never be good enough. And that's amazing. That's amazing to know. Once you understand how to look at that fact. Action precedes confidence. Imperfection is always better than hesitation. And third one, maybe my favorite, is why you shouldn't care about the opinion of others. Once again, coming from a person who, who cared too much and sometimes still cares too much about the opinion of others. We talk a lot about how not to care, but I think this, what I want to share is not talked about enough. Those who approach whatever you are doing, whatever your work that you are sharing is, 
those who approach it with pure intention of, of looking at what you have done and appreciating the effort that you have put into it. They don't have to agree with what you are doing. They don't have to enjoy what you have created. But they will respect the effort, especially if they are also, if they are someone who, uh, who has been engaged in any sort of effort to create something. So you will never be judged, never be judged unfairly, and never be put down by someone who is approaching your work with pure intention and someone who has, who can relate to you on some level. So you don't have to worry about those people. You will only receive support from them, overwhelming support, something beautiful. And on the other hand, we have people who are approaching whatever you are doing and whatever the work is that you're sharing, they're approaching it with an intention to judge it and to put you down. You will never, never be able to create anything and to do anything that will deserve approval of those people. So by caring, you are putting yourself in the corner by caring about what they, what they think. Because quite literally, you will never be good enough for them. Nothing you, you ever do will be worth something for them. Because they're approaching your work with an intention already to judge it and to try to put you down. Why? We can talk about countless different reasons. But it's not coming from a place of them being happy about themselves and their lives. We know, we know that for sure. It's coming from a place of lack, from a place of insecurity, frustration, anger. So on one hand you have people, on one hand you have people who are approaching your work, uh, not just objectively, they're approaching your work as, as uh, people who understand that it takes courage, as we said, and it takes effort to do whatever it is that you're doing. And you know that they will at the very least support you because of the effort and courage. And on the other hand, you have people that you will never be able to satisfy. So in this, if we put things like this, how, how is there, how is there a reason for you to, to care about, uh, to care about what other people think? And okay, you will say, I still care about time. I cannot help it. Okay, I, I still do. After four years, I still care about it. But you're not going to be completely ruled but th by that small part of yourself that still cares. Now we have laid out on a rational level. On a rational level, uh, if you still care about that one small part of yourself still cares about, at least on a rational level, you know that you simply cannot be affected by it. Uh, and most importantly, you cannot be prevented to start creating something, to start sharing you to start sharing your work. You cannot be prevented from doing that out of the fear of what others will say. So let's deal with what others will say when we have something that others will talk about. So not even trying. Because you're afraid that you will meet judgment and disapproval. Yes, yes, you will meet judgment and disapproval from those people that we just mentioned. Those that, that, that are just waiting to find something and someone to judge, to criticize, to try to put down. So you're not going to start because there are people like, like that out there in the world. Action precedes confidence. Imperfection is always better than hesitation. And... There are two types of people who will be approaching you and what you do with completely two different mindsets. And if you're aware of what those mindsets are, you know that you don't need to wait anymore. You don't need to be afraid of how you will be judged. You need to start. I would be extremely, extremely happy if I can get some, at least one person watching this to start whatever it is that they would like to start and that they are scared of starting. If you could start sharing your work with the world. 
these three things have helped me immensely. Some of them took me longer to understand. Some of them, excuse me, some of them took me longer. Some of them I realized in the first maybe a couple of weeks or months of writing and sharing my writing online. But either way, those three things have been pillars of of me not being anymore that scared boy, that uh, shy boy, that boy that was hesitant and too careful in life, always trying to be fully prepared before doing something. You know, now people who have met me in the last four years of my life, especially those who have met me, uh, met me since I left home, and friends that have been with me on this journey, you know, I... I'm considered as someone who is a risk taker, as someone who is an action taker, and someone who is sometimes even considered by people as reckless. And you know, I can share this personal personal detail with my mother and I, when we talk on the phone, we quite often laugh about who who I've become in, in that regard. In some regard it was always obvious that something like this will, ha will happen, but uh, in some regard, this, the, that careful, careful boy now being considered as an action taker and a risk taker and some people from with, with good intentions telling me to be a bit more careful and not to not to be so quick on taking risks and trying to grab some opportunities. I, w I want the same for you. I want the same for you and I hope that you don't have to follow the same journey as me. Of course not, but just imagine if you are that shy, scared, too careful person. Imagine if, if you start taking action and after a year or two or three People consider you a when they think about someone who is who is not too hesitant, someone who is when they have an idea, they take action on it. When they see an opportunity, they grab it. Imagine you become that person. I can tell you you can become that person. That's it. Enough uh, enough for today, for tonight. I still cannot believe it's four years. Not because I have accomplished something in four years, although I think it's undeniable that I have accomplished something, but I still cannot believe that I have established a genuine connection with strangers around the world. And the comments that I'm receiving and messages that I'm getting, I can promise you this, it's been four years. I don't know how the landscape of internet will evolve, but even after 40 years, I will maintain my effort to never take for granted not a single minute you spend on reading what i write or listening what i have to say never never every single day i will make an effort to remind myself not to take for granted not a minute any second of of, of your time and attention that you're giving me thank you subscribe like comment I will be talking to you tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Stay strong, love life, never feel sorry for yourself and start, start doing that thing. Start sharing your work with the world. Action, courage, imperfection and not being afraid of judgment. Thank you.